So far in our journey in the brewing process, we've malted our barley and we have kiln the malt. The next step is going to be mashing and laudering. The mashing process, we're going to let the enzymes in the malt break the starch into sugar, most often maltose. There's two forms of mashing, infusion and decoction. In infusion, we mix the malt with the water and we heat it up together. It's a newer process that really became available when we had very accurate thermometers. In decoction, what we do is take a portion of the mash and boil it. Take that boiled content and put it back in with the rest of the mash to raise the temperature. This is an ancient process that was used whenever they were not accurate thermometers. Both of these are used to get the mash up to a certain temperature, but not boiling. What we want is our enzymes to be active. There are specific temperatures where these enzymes will be active. Once we have exceeded this temperature, the enzyme is denatured and no longer active. When we start the mashing process, we start with malt. The malt is still in granular form, in its grain. So we first need to break that open to increase the surface tension. So we're gonna mill the grain to get a grist. The grist is then mixed with water and the water is then heated up to a certain temperature. There are several enzymatic rests. The enzymatic rests are temperatures where we get the most enzymatic activity. There is the beta gluconase rest, the proteinase rest, and the amylose rest, either the beta amylose rest or the alpha amylose rest. The beta gluconase rest is actually an enzyme that breaks down beta linkages in cellulose. This enables the starch to come out of the cell walls. You have to be careful with this rest because if you break down the cellulose too much, it'll actually interfere with the filtering process in the laudering step. The proteinase rest degrades proteins, giving free amino acids and other smaller protein molecules. We have to be careful here because if too much free amino acid in the wort will actually cause off flavors. We also want to have smaller proteins for a developed head, but if we break down the proteins too much, it'll also cause clouding. The amylose rest, both the beta and alpha amylose rest, are the most important. It's the amylose enzymes that are going to convert the starch into sugar. The beta amylose rest is for the beta amylose enzyme. This enzyme will break down amylose and amylopectin by starting at a non-reducing end and then breaking it glucose by glucose. The alpha amylose rest more or less takes the larger starch and snips it into smaller pieces. Depending on where we set the temperature, either at a optimal beta amylose rest or an alpha amylose rest will change the overall flavor and texture of the beer. If we have a lower temperature, we're going to favor a beta amylose rest. This is going to give us a crisper, less malty beer. If we have a slightly higher temperature at the alpha amylose, we're going to leave smaller dextrin molecules together that give us a malty flavor and a more full-bodied beer. So once we've completed the enzymatic rests, we then want to get to the laudering process. Before we get that, what we do is a mash out. Remember, we've set our temperatures to optimize the enzymatic activity. But at these lower temperatures, the wort is still very thick. And what we want to do is make it less viscous. So we raise the temperature or mash out. So we'll raise the temperature up and prepare for the laudering step. Now laudering is just the process where we're going to separate our liquid wort from our residual grain. Usually this is done by sparging. We sparge by putting a little extra water into the 
mixture. This extracts out more of the fermentable sugars, but we have to be careful. There are tannins in the grain husks. If we extract too many tannins, we can get a very bitter or astringent beer. At the end of laudering, what you have is you have your spent grain and you have your liquid wort. It's our liquid wort that we're gonna to take to the next stage of the brewing process, boiling and hopping. The main step in the mashing and laudering phase is to convert starch into simple sugars that can be digested by the yeast and turned into ethanol.